Okay, I have a uh, Sony S40 uh, build here. And as you can see, it's used an HPWA. Um, Pelican 1040. This is my Sony S40. And we're going to show you how to work the camera, work the cam. First thing you want to do is you want to put your batteries in. I use NIM. I actually use NIM hybrids. I'll do a better job. This is a memory card slot. Um, I have a Sony memory chip in it. Um, now, this one here is using an AOI control board. And there are a few things about this. Um, if I get a lot of false pictures or not getting enough pictures, it's not PIR pot. And I can adjust this up and down. I can make it makes this PIR more sensitive. If it's too sensitive, you'll get too many false pictures. Turn it down a little bit, get less. Um, this here's my uh, dip switch for my AOI board. Um, you always want to keep five up, and that puts power through. But what we want is dip one, which is right here. Dip dip one off, which is which would be down would be a trail mode. Now trail mode will come on for one minute and it'll take as many pictures as it can if the PIR is being hit or being blocked. So it'll take as many pictures of, if there's an animal in front of it, it'll take as many pictures as it can in one minute. Um, if you take it up where the switch is on, it's feeder mode. So it'll take a picture every minute so um, if there's a deer in front, I'll take a picture. For, then a minute later, I'll take another picture. Now, with dip, now this program I've set up, I have two two delays, one thirty second and one minute. Dip, if dip two's off, it'll stay. It'll do this for one minute. If I put dip two on, it'd be thirty seconds. So it'll, basically, if you're on trail mode, you'll be on trail mode for thirty seconds. If you're in feeder mode, you'll be in third. It'll take a picture every 30 seconds. And um, if you program your own, you can change those settings. It's real easy. It's at the top of my my uh, of my program, and it's real easy to change. Um, it's, it's listed there, what what it is, and how how it's explained. Now, I'm using three or four A's, which is six volt. Um, I'll use a nine volt too. The set the regulators from 3 to 12 volt now this is a Sony fast hack or four wire hack so if I turn this camera on I'm gonna get a, 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 a uh, turn the camera off and on again so that's typical with this type of hack so for this to work and shutter a picture I need to turn off the LCD so right now the LCD is on and there's a button right here now, if I push this button, it turns my LCD off. That's all I want to do. And I want to turn the camera back off. Now I'm ready to arm the board. And all I got to do for here, um, this is a Gen 3. All I do is push the button on the bottom, and I'll turn my board on. And as you'll notice, when the camera comes on, there'll be no air. But the, the, you can't tell because the LCD is off. So that's all there is to it, to setting up the camera. Um, this one here uses two double A's for externals. I don't know, it's a pretty simple setup. If this was a Gen 4, there'd be a button here you push to turn the board on. Um, that's all you need to know. Now, like I said, if I turn it on, I get an error. If I slide this over to view pictures, I can delete pictures. And what else I can do is hit menu. That'll give me access to these screens. The only one it won't give me access to is is the uh, middle one, which is to take pictures. So remember, this is, turns the LCD off. Now, there's several ways you can, if you want to get into the other screen, there's several ways you can do this. You can turn the control board on
when the camera comes on, I can hit set up. And it's not going to stay on very long. So what I was probably... What I would do is probably put it in uh, trail mode. And wait for the board to set. Then I can take... Then I... Once the board turns on the camera, then I can turn the menu. Now, what some people do, and I could do it too, is you could wire a switch between common and lens cover. So it would be the last two on this board here. It would be these two ports, or I could just, if I have to, I could take these two wires out, tie them together, and I can set my camera. Or I can put a switch in here if I really wanted to, and when I turn the camera on, you don't get that error. So if I trigger... My camera, I can actually turn it once it takes a picture. If I'm quick enough, I can get in there and get this set. As you can see, I can go through these screens pretty good. So, that's one way to do it. I said the other way is the first screen. So that's about it. So remember, I want to turn the camera on, turn the LCD off, turn the camera back off, and arm the control board. That's all there is to it. Hope this helps.